Hello everyone, uh, uh, this is a, a follow-up from the, the live streams I did when I was building this uh, uh, mini plotter. Um, uh, there's a few things I want to go over uh, with it um, uh, when making one of these. Uh, is um, oh, I'll just unplug it. Uh, and and what I, what I want to just uh, the the thing that makes and breaks this is is how well these uh, like uh, can we say feet? Well, I tell you what I'll do. Let's see if uh, what I've got is I've got one of these um, e ESP32 cam. Let me just see if I can. There, can you can you see that? One of these ESP, but what I've done is I've put a like a, a macro lens on the end of it. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and so uh, I've also wrote some an, another application. Rather than view it through a, a, a webcam, uh, I've made an application. I'll just turn it on. Uh, there, uh, that's my application, and and so. What we should be able to do is I, I can use this to zoom in uh, basically there uh, that's the little foot I'm, I'm talking about um, it, it runs on this uh, this worm drive or screw or whatever you like to call it uh, and it's important that this is is moulded perfectly onto onto the screw. Uh, hang on, I'm just a bit out of focus there. Yeah, it, it's important that sits on screw. Okay, and and one way to test it, uh, and same goes for the other one. Actually, let's just bring that around as well. Uh, the other one there. Can we get in there? There. Yeah, you can see that one down there. Uh, I, I managed to get that a little bit too hot, uh, but basically what I do is I warm them up. Now let's get something to point with. Yeah. So so down. Where's me pointing? So so down there you can see that I, I've sort of um, sort of melted it slightly. But basically what I've done is uh, I warmed it up. And then squeezed it onto this uh, 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 screw, uh, so that um, it gets a perfect fit. If, if that's a perfect fit, it's going to run really smoothly. It's, it all counts on that, basically. These these little things are. Um, let me just turn that that camera off. Yeah, uh, those those things are important and the, the way to test you've got it right is this should be a nice uh, the the slide should slide over these really nice I just use a, a little uh, uh, three mil drill bit and I just run it in and out until these run nice and smooth over these uh, uh, linear bars I want they slide nice and you, you don't want I'm too slack otherwise this is going to move around all over the place uh, but uh, there should be no give but it should slide really easy so that's very important that they slide and and the way to test that you've got these um, these little feet on these uh, on the stepper motor screws is you should be able to move these up and down like this and I don't know if we can see that but if you move it up and down you can see it lights up those lights and I can do it the same with the other one you should be able to move it up and down and you can see the other one lighting up as I do um, that means you've got a good contact if you haven't got a good contact on there that it's gonna you'll hear it chatter across the top and it and it's no good it's not you're not it's not gonna work until you've got that running perfectly and smooth over there anyway that said let's put some power back in 
Yeah, and I, I, f I found uh, the pause button on uh, OBS as well, so <laughs> I can uh, I can actually pause this and try and remember what I've missed. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so hopefully uh, you can see that and. Uh, it, it comes up with me main menu and then we've got our knob as soon as we turn our knob it goes into the menu screen uh, I'm going to turn turn this thing back on again and I, I just want to go through the menu so there we go I've got that uh, turned on if I remember which way up this goes I think have I got it right way no I've got it upside down there we go and there's uh, how's that there we go we can now uh, see the menu yeah, that's better so um, yeah uh, so all these words as I was saying before these are all stored on the uh, the little memory chips so uh, the uh, the Arduino reads the memory chip to be able to display these letters and I say if you're clever enough you'll be able to change the language if you want but anyways so we're on the main screen there and you, you've got our we've, we can we, we can flick through the menus info settings choose plot and uh, manual draw um the reset that basically moves everything to uh, zero can we oh, hang on let's just see if i can move that um what have i done there turned it off no it's the wrong button that's what we're going to do just move it down out of the way a bit. Oh well. Never mind, lock it in place again. Let's just move. Well, you can see that anyway. See the uh, thing, and you can see my camera on it. Uh, so, so what it does, it, it resets the the position of the uh, 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 of the machine. So, if we just go down reset, you'll see that happen. So I've got to reset, press that, and it, it just puts it all to zero. The thing is, also, depending on how well your stepper motors do, oh, let's just move up to info then. So info, that just prints Tim's mini plotter, of course. Uh, yeah, uh, so, uh, and if we go to settings, uh, we've, we've got the speed setting and we've also got the servo servo and laser if we click on s uh, laser uh, if you click on laser what it'll do it'll use the auxiliary uh, output and it, it's default to s servo so if you reset you're going to go back to servo and you'll have to come back here if you're using a, a laser um, but uh, if you're on servo then it's going to use the the, the, the the servo output so you've got the choice of the two um, well, just miss the lighting up there right there and, and then we've got the speed as well so if you click the speed you can change that knock that down and and basically this is the speed really you want to be going about 3000 I reckon that gives you a nice um, steady plot at 4000 it, it tends to be the lines tend to uh, uh, well lose the plot shall we say <laughs> okay all right so 3000 so we'll leave it at 3000 and then we've, we've, we've also always got a back button so we'll go back to our menu and uh, I'll do manual draw so in manual draw what you can do you can either choose to move in the x direction or draw in the x direction if you draw in the x direction it it, it will drop the pen down if you choose move it will lift the pen up or if you've got a laser 
uh, attached, it'll turn the laser on for draw and it'll turn the laser off for move and all you do is you just move with the knob and there's actually this little number in the top right hand corner when you're in this mode tells you uh, how far y y you are so you can just turn it in the X direction can I get the uh, camera to show you so you can see you're at, uh, you've moved X to position 11 and then if we move back to 0 well it, it goes back to 1 uh, go back to one and then you just click to to get out of that and then you can choose draw and then it w what it'll do is it will then drop the pen down and, and then uh, it, you can start drawing from that position and so on and then just click to get back out again and then we can uh, go down back and get out of that uh, get out of that the, the manual draw mode now the choose plots um, in here. In here, we, we, we these are all the uh, the plots we've uploaded into memory. So we can have an, an outline plot. So inside the outline plot is all our like the cube, the snowflake, wolf, lynx, which you know. So you see, so you just scroll to the one that you want. And as soon as you find it, you just press the button and, and off it goes. Uh, so we'll come out of there. So if you just go all the way to the end and just press back, that gets you out right out of the menu. And we've we got to go back in there again. And so the text, the text takes you to another sub menu. So uh, I've split the text up into into uh, well th there we go four 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 sections. So you've got your capitals A to Z, you've got your lowercase A to Z, and you've got your numbers not to nine, and then you've got your symbols. Your symbols are all the uh, um, the full stops and and commas and as things. So these are all your your symbols. So you just choose which one you want and then you just press the button again. And it's the same with the, the numbers. The numbers will obviously it's just goes not to nine, so all the way through to nine and then back. So you got nine and then back again. Uh, and it, these 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 it, well it's the same. It's lowercase or uppercase. So uppercase you've got the year A to Z and you just scroll through them until you get to the uh, the end so the last one will be Z and back uh, so uh, once you get to a number well let's just let's just try the A so I'll just move this back a bit there. Uh, so if we just have it on A and you press the, the thing it, it, it will draw the A from where it was basically uh, with the alphabet uh, I, I did something more logical I've left it where it is so then you can go to the next letter if you want or if you are going now go to lowercase just go back and down and the other one so if I if it had done a capital T what I could have done is just go and uh, move moved it then it go I it had drawn the I And then what I would do is I would move it and then just go straight to M. And then I would just press the M and it would draw the M then. So uh, the menu is pretty straightforward. Uh, I will, uh, we will come back out of there. And um, I'll come back out of there. There we are and come back out of there. And we're back into the main menu again. Uh, so that does that bit. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press pause uh, and, and and come back again. Now I've found out what that does. Uh, okay, I'm back. Uh, let's. Oh, I left this uh, back where it was. <laughs> 
So with the menu out of the way, um, let's uh, do some um, uh, uh, plotting. Uh, I might as well just do uh, a repeat of my original plot, what I did with my old uh, plotter. Uh, oh, hang about, what have I got that still up for? Sorry guys. Uh, let's turn that off. There we go. Now we can see the, the plotter now. <laughs> Uh, I might as well, well do what I did before. It, it seems to be the the best example. So also what I've done is I've, I've added uh, some little uh, little rubber feet. Well, they're like little foam pads basically. Helps it grip. Uh, so you need to hold it down when when it's going. It'll, it tends to throw itself about if you don't, because it is going quite fast and it's, it's throwing a bit of mass around. Uh, and so what I, I tend to do is, uh, with a bit of paper, I don't know if you can see that, but there's some fine pencil lines on there. Uh, I don't know if they'll show up anyways. Uh, just for a guide, uh, to, to, to give you a bit of a guide when you're sort of doing it, uh, let's do the uh, the four uh, corners. Uh, with, and that. So basically what I'm going to do is go to my outline, and then I will choose one of my corners. Let's well corner three let's go for corner three when I'm all uh, have I got all in shot well hopefully can I get some brightness or something let's see if I can get the colour uh, maybe that's a bit too bright uh, maybe a bit I think maybe if it's like that that might well we'll find out and I might change it again so Get it lined up, get it set on your the, what you want to plot, and just press the button. There we go, that's our first corner. I'll just move that. Can you see that? Yeah, oh yeah, it, that's showing up alright. So we'll do the other three. Just turn it round. See, maybe if I move it back a bit. And I'll line it up with that. This is always going to be where where the pen starts, is always going to be the, the bottom left corner of the, if you imagine a 40 by 40. So it gives you a guide, and because we're slightly up a bit, I've come in a bit on that that side. So let's uh, go back to that one. Yeah, I made a bit of a mistake. I should have left it where it was, and then made it stay on the, the plot we've chosen. But anyway, what was it? Corner 3? I hope it was. Oh, maybe I should have done a different corner in each, so you can see all the different corners, really, but, uh, and uh, see how it goes. Actually, I, I suppose I could make this uh, video a bit shorter. What I can do is, I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll pause it, and then come do the other two, and then we'll come back to it. And I'm back, and as you can see, I've done all, uh, all four corners. Uh, so the next bit, um, let's uh, write Tim's across there. I've, I've put a pencil line for me to sort of follow so uh, let's see how that goes actually I think I could have done with pencil line a bit lower what I'm going to do I'm going to get a ruler that also helps there we go if put a ruler I'll put it on that line 
there we go and then what you can do is you can put that and you can slide it along your ruler like that and it gives you a better guide so uh, let's start with a, a capital a capital T and you make So I go to text and then I go to the capitals and find T. This. There we go, we're on T now. Like I say, you need to hold it down. Oh, watch it up, put your fingers on these resistors, they, they, do, they do get hot. Not enough to give you a serious burn, they're about, I don't know, f about 46 degrees, 50 degrees. It, it, it feels bad to touch. Anyway, here we go. That was nice. And so what we need to do is now move it along. And you sort of get, guess, line the pen up with the edge of the letter and that'll get you your next point. Which I reckon is about there. And then we'll go back to the lower case. Find the I. There we go. Oh, something went amiss there. Uh, I think. Uh, oh, I really messed it up there, didn't I? Oh well, that's, this is where it should have been. There. Hang on. Why is that sticking? I might have to check on that eye. Anyway, let's go and try the M, see if we any luck with it, an M. Oh, M went okay. Wonder what's wrong with that eye. To check my files. Right, then we want a little hyphen now, so if we go through to the uh, symbols. I'm having trouble seeing myself. I'm sorry, but I, I need my glasses for. Uh, it's a bit out of my eye range now. Symbols. I think it's that one. Find out. Yep, there we go. <laughs> no, what happened there? Uh, let me just press it again. Oh, I picked the wrong thing there. Oh, it's because <laughs> it just looked blurred to me. I have chosen the wrong symbol there. Oh, crap. I'm totally messing this up. Right. There we go. Yeah. It's because I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> Got the wrong glasses. Right. <laughs> Oh dear. Anyways, right. Let's go. Back. Right. What would we, what would we want next? We want an S. Let's try. <laughs> see if we can get the right character this time. Right. I think I've got an S now. So let's go for that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, that looks really good, doesn't it? Uh, it looks pretty. Uh, <laughs> I've messed that up. Right. I'm going to leave it in. I'm going to leave this in the video. You know, I don't care. We all make mistakes. So, and I don't believe in hiding. <laughs> I'm not going to hide all my mistakes. So, th they're there. I mean, it, it's generally okay. Right, we want mini now. So, we'll carry on. I don't care. Right, hang on. Oh, we want capital, don't we? So we'll go back. Uh, M, M, M. Right, there we go for an M. See if it does that all right then. Yeah. I, I don't know what's gone wrong with that eye. I know the other one was my mistake, my blind blindness. Right, let's try oh, an eye again, don't I? Oh, we want lowercase. 
Yeah. Should get some new glasses. Right, try an eye. Oh, we had issues with this before, didn't we? But hang about, it's doing it now. Well, I don't know what went wrong with the other eye. Anyways, let's keep going. Right, it's me, I probably put it in the wrong place. N. There we go. Uh, oh, we've got another eye. Alright, <laughs> here's another test for the eye then. Uh, right, so where are we? I'll go back for that. HI. There we go. I oh, got a bit close to the end there. Uh, mini. Right, so let's just move the uh, ruler along a bit. Yeah, that should be right, that. And then we can come down here and just give it a bit of a space. And we want some cap. A cap now, capital P. Uh, or P, there we go, let's try the P. Yep, hang on, let's just move that paper across. Are we all in shot still? Oh yeah, right. Yeah, I have to turn around for my other monitor, I've got this. Let's line this up. Uh, what we're we after now? Small L, isn't that right? Yeah. I hope I left enough room. Uh, lowercase L. L. Uh, then we want to move along a little bit. Bit too far. Whoop, there, that'll do. Then we go for a T. A T, there's T. See if we can get another T. Oh, I think we're going to have enough room, yeah. Let's go with T again. And we'll have an E. Yeah, oh, you better set it first. <laughs> right, there's an E. And we'll go for an R. Finish that off. Now, where's R? QR. There we go. Right, yeah. Well, apart from my mistakes, I don't know why I'm with it. I, anyways, uh, let's have a look. Yeah, it's looking super. Hang about, I've missed, I've missed the. Oh wow, I, I've missed the soddy no. Oh god, hang about. Right, in that case. <laughs> yeah, pst, pst, pst. Yes, right, okay. Where's my symbols? Get out of there. What we got in here? Uh, let's try. Alright, I'm going to try this. Right, hang about. Uh, let's put it about there. Now let's put it on piss a bit. Yeah, right, okay. I messed it all up already anyways. What the shite did I do there? Friggin' hell. Right, I should have gone like that. Hang on. That, that's what I was trying to do. Hang on, where's that? That's going to start there. Let's try this. Come 
Right. Go like that, and then go... Yeah, make a total mess. What's that? Wait, element. That, right, that must be an O there. Right. Oh, no, I shouldn't have done it that way. Uh, anyway, it's a circle, anyway. Uh. <laughs> well, yeah, oh, get the O in the... In, in, well, it should have been here. <laughs> oh, bollocks to it. I don't care. Right. <laughs> let's, let's just do... Let's just do a, a few... Um, few outlines okay so stick the ruler down here no I don't need the ruler I'm not somewhat off my uh, table right so what we're gonna do let's do a cube I think I've got a thing uh, I think I've lost a um, where is it? A foot off my thing. It's a bit wobbly. did a cube. Have I got that on? Yeah, ah, you can see the cube. <laughs> right, uh, that's a good test is that, because that checks, you can check that the uh, the lines all meet up basically on there. And then uh, another good, oh, hang on, I missed that. Damp, 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 damp. Yeah, just let it. <laughs> Yeah, if I can mess it up, I can mess it up, can't I? Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna upload this. I don't care. I don't care. I could do it again, and we could. Um, I could pretend it didn't happen. <laughs> you won't be any wiser. Right, there, it's finished its thing. Are we at the, we're at the end there. Right. I don't know. It lost a few steps. Right. What I meant to do was move on one before doing the other. And this is a good test for speed because this is a, like a, it's one complete line but you can tell how well that your machine is doing because um, there's, there's a lot of straight lines and it's, well it's my snowflake there's a lot of straight lines and uh, it's a test I did to, to see if it all lines up when it gets back to the start again basically it's going in every direction there is and so if it loses loses the plot it will end up at the beginning and it did. There we go. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, this is where the start and finish was, and, and that's where it should have it should have started to finish. So yeah, that was a good test. And let's just do one more. Uh, make a really complete mess. Uh, what we can we, can we do? Uh, well. Um, uh, let's put my logo right let's see this no uh, hey, uh, agents I haven't done an agent for ages so let's see what this comes out like there you go that's a, a cool one Anyways, <laughs> I just I just don't know what happened. Anyways, 
Uh, I don't care. Uh, you, you, you could see, you could see, well, I mean, it's a portable plotter and it's been able to do a nice little uh, A4 uh, notice. You, you know, you can make some nice little notice boards or something like that, you know. If, well, whatever size you like, actually, it depends how much you fill it in. Each character is 40 by 40 uh, and each outline is 40 by 40 because basically these uh, stepper motors that you get are usually about 52 and then you've got to minus the foot for the uh, thing that follows it. Uh, so I, I, I knocked it down to 40 to make sure cause th th you get various lengths so I knocked it down to 40 by 40 to make sure that the smaller ones fit as well. Um, so I, I just hope you like my little little plotter oh uh, yes uh, well i was going to stick the the laser in but I've, I've done it before on the other one so you can watch the other video um uh, the the reason i did this is because um i, I found out about pcb way and they do some really cheap if you keep it within a hundred by hundred you 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 your PCB, um, you know, uh, you, you can get 10 for $5, uh, and you, so you can't beat it. I mean, I used to make my own, but I mean, for $5, uh, you know, getting one made by PCB way, uh, well, what can I say? It's super duper. Right, I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> and I don't care about my mistakes. So if you watched it this far, thanks for watching.